Tonight, the College of William and Mary is remembering the life of one of its own as investigators continue to search for whoever killed Nathan Evans in Norfolk. Sophomore running back was shot and killed last week. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton spoke with neighbors who witnessed the aftermath. The majority of people who live on this street attend Old Dominion University, and they say they don't know why Nathan Evans would have been here the night he was murdered. They say there wasn't a party or anything going on that night. Some thought they heard fireworks, while others knew the noise right away. I heard sound like four gunshots, like pop, 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 pop. Jesse Lindsay says he was up late Thursday night getting ready for work the next day. And so I look out the bathroom window and, uh, I see some someone running down the street. It's like uh, full fledged you know, booking it. When he came outside, Lindsay saw someone dead on the ground. It was 19 year old Nathan Evans, a running back for William and Mary. What, what, what just happened? Like I was, I was super confused. Lindsay says he didn't get a good look at the person who ran off from the neighborhood. It was kind of dark, but uh, he was like a smaller frame guy. Other people who didn't want to go on camera say that several girls tried to help Evans. Police investigated for several hours. Some people even couldn't get into their homes until 4.30 Friday morning. I reached out to Norfolk Police. As of now, detectives are still gathering information. They haven't made any arrests. Now, if you know anything that could help detectives, call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. In Norfolk, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.